I am so happy to be starting a new vlog here and the reason I cannot wipe the smile off my face is because we're in a new apartment here in New York City. Don't worry, I haven't left the city. Still a Manhattan gal. It has been a while, I know, but I've had so much going on and I'm not just saying that and there goes the door opening. That's going to slam. The door to my terrace, I must say. Okay, so I've had a lot going on. It's been a lot. I was in Australia, um, went to visit my family a little bit. We moved into this incredible new apartment here in Manhattan just like two days ago and this place is, it's like insane. And then the next day at seven in the morning, I had my graduation ceremony. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this on YouTube, but I have mentioned it to Instagram that I was a graduate student and I was studying my masters at Brooklyn College. And your girl graduated on Friday. So I am officially masters qualified. I finished all my studies. I got my diploma, my degree, and I am so incredibly happy for that and also proud of myself. Honestly, it was a lot. It was two and a half years of higher education and you know, it's a lot. So all done. And I had my ceremony, it was incredible. Um, it was at Barclay Center in Brooklyn where the Nets play. Other than that, we have been on the hunt for an apartment and it has been hell. Honestly, finding apartments in New York City, it sounds fun. It might sound aesthetically cool and fun. I can assure you, it is not fun at all. We were interested in some apartments and we were like, okay, we're gonna put our application in. There was 20 people before us that had already put the application. So I don't wanna like talk about the past. <laughs> Let's leave that apartment hunting trauma in the past. But I am super happy that now we have settled in the apartment. We've put all the furniture in. There's still a couple of things I need to buy. And I have, basically Mount Everest mountain of laundry to do but I do have a, laun a laundry facility in my apartment I have a washer and dryer like if you're a New Yorker you know what that means I also have a terrace this apartment is like a New Yorker's dream I have to say and a beautiful brick wall I haven't had a brick wall in my apartments this is my fourth apartment here in New York City the first one was beautiful's right across Central Park oh yeah you're gonna hear a lot of those sirens I we can wait so we need to do a bit of a bit of well not renovation but like home decor right need to do a bit of home decor. The TV is on the floor at the moment, so that needs help. And the terrace needs help. So there is a few things. But today, basically, I've got my sports gear on because I'm going to work out. I've gained a little bit of weight, but you know, I was at the end of my master's, so that I was snacking a lot, which is fine. Did I achieve a master's? Yes. Does that matter? No, I can lose the weight. So I'm getting back into my routine of working out, eating healthy. So that's what I'm going to do right now is just work out. Hours. Then I have a few errands to run. I want to go to Nespresso, stock up on my coffee. Also want to go to Trader Joe's, pick up some groceries, do laundry, and just kind of clean up and continue the move-in process. But I'm so happy to be vlogging again and back on my YouTube. I missed YouTube so much. I have to say, I think it's my favorite platform. But yeah, so welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Nahal. Let's get right into it. considering going outside but look at the sky right now it is completely orange outside and smoky and this is all the fires that have come the wildfires basically in Canada right now and the wind has blown it all the way through the East Coast and it's made its way to New York City and it is actually frightening outside it's just completely red and I think it's actually very safe to be outside. Here is my lunch post-workout. Leftovers from dinner last night, which is rice and then some beef and corn as well.
We had to take a little pause on life yesterday. The wildfires in Canada were really extreme and basically the wind blew all the way to New York and it was hazardous and we were asked to stay indoors. So I think I kind of briefly showed you what it looked like from outside my window and it was honestly terrifying. I'll insert a photo of what it looked like on the news. The professional photos are more accurate, especially by the water. Really scary, but it's cleared up today. And I'm just heading to Madison to uh, Nespresso to pick up my coffee because I'm out of coffee and coffee is a bribe. So a couple of other errands to run. Um, again, just like getting my new apartment organized. So we've made it to Madison. The lighting actually looks really incredible right now. Open and it looks like it's a midi, so we'll see how that fits. And then these beautiful linen black pants. I think I need to adjust the straps a little, but this is the back is completely open and there's a split. Do you like? You need to adjust the straps. Would you be able to do that? The jeans did not fit. Any of them? No, I only have one pair. So, oh, they gave me the wrong size. Yeah, I've heard they've been... What size is this? While we wait, pop up on the lips. <laughs> this is Mac Sour. Oh my gosh. Shot Tilbury. <laughs> so now I've got the small. So we see how this fits. The linen. And then I'm getting another size in this. The small definitely fits a little better. Doesn't have pockets. Oh, this is what they would look like. Obviously, I'm 5'3, so I have to get them altered, but I could wear them with heels. Well, we shopped. Oops. Well, I got successful at Reformation. I bought the linen pants that I showed you, and honestly, they are sold out in the Soho location, and I had to get them. I feel like linen pants and shorts are a staple in a wardrobe, my summer wardrobe, and they're just so easy and flowy. So I needed that, and then, but they're high rise, I did want low rise, but I can still make it work. But uh, that was definitely not part of the plan to go clothing shopping, but it definitely was the plan to get home essentials, but we do need to go to CVS because, because I need to get some cosmetic things like toothpaste and all that random stuff. But, yeah, but let's head home because I'm hungry. Oh my, Are you hungry? Shit. I get up in the morning. Yeah, I am hungry. And it's starting to get a little bit hazy again with the fire, so we're kind of rushing home. And you have a day off because of how hazardous it is outside. So you're working remote, but we all know what remote work means. Yep. You mean shopping with your girlfriend, right? I see that right now. <laughs> This is what I bought from Nespresso just to stock up. They actually gave me some samples. They gave me to try which Costa Rica I bought that, but double espresso dolce. We got some Stormio. I already opened it up. Costa Rica. I like that. Audacio is quite good and also Mexico. So now we're going to stock them. By the way, I kind of organized my closet. I've got my shoes here, some sandals, some more shoes there. And my bags, oh, some of them are here. To match the pants with the top, I think I'm just going to stick to Reformation. And I recently purchased this top from Reformation. See how this looks. 
Okay, so this is how the pants look and I love them. You can kind of see that they are quite long. Now I'm 5'3", to be exact, and they're very long on me and they do sit high rise. So my belly button is here and then they kind of, you can sit it below your belly button. There definitely is room for that. And then you have, you can stitch in the waist, but you can also wear it high rise like so. And I just love, I love how it's like a straight fit all the way from the top to the bottom, it fits exactly the same. So I love that, but I did want to wear it with sandals, so I'm thinking about maybe to get it altered, but I do love it with this top, and this is again from Reformation. Size small, size small for reference. Usually I am a size small or an extra small. I'm gonna try it on with shoes. I probably would wear it with like Espadrille heels, so let's see. Here's how the pants look with the Espadrilles. Now Espadrilles aren't that high, as you can see. They're good for every day and especially city living. They fit perfect with that, but again, I have to wear it above my belly button. Potentially, I might get them altered, like I mentioned. But I love them with this top. It looks really chic and they're really quality. The linen is extremely good quality. You can just feel it. Um, and then I probably wear some fun sunglasses like these pink ones. Like this would be like a day look, honestly, for me. And then... I might wear it with this Dior saddle. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh yeah, love. So that's how, what I would wear. Kind of like a day look, going to brunch, probably shopping in Soho. I love it. I'm going to try it on with a linen top as well, just to give you like kind of resort wear look. Um, but I'm thinking of getting these in the white as well. They're actually pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. Reformation is known for their quality and sustainability. So you got, you're going to pay what you're given basically, which is good quality and it yeah, fits well. So let's try it on with the linen top to give you a kind of like a beach resort wear. This beautiful linen little crop with the bow on the back is from, I bought it from Matches Fashion, a brand called Casa Raki, and I wore it last summer in Europe. I was loving this, especially like in Greece. It was such a vibe. It's beautiful and it's like white and pinstriped almost. So it's stunning linen. It needs an extreme iron, but never mind. Hopefully you can see me well. So again, the pants, high rise looks the best because it's just such a little crop. I could wear it with my Raffia Chanel, but should I? I think I could. And then I might wear, just for a pop of color, these old school Dior sunglasses, the yellow shade, love them. But I also, I love wearing this around the city, which is my St. Bart's tote. Picked it up in St. Bart's, a little souvenir. Surprisingly, I get asked a lot where I got this tote from. Around in New York City, people will be like, oh, I love your tote, like, where did you get it? And I'm like, ta-da, St. Bart's. So it's pretty iconic, and I love to just carry it on my shoulder, like so. Um, this is probably how I would wear it. And again, with the Espadrilles. And this is kind of like, you're on vacation, it's super hot, or you know, a day in Santorini, exploring, you're going to lunch, you're going to get some gelato. This is probably what I would wear. Love these pants, I definitely need them in the white now, and there's also like a beige, but very, very cute. Also, did I mention that I am now a brunette? Yes, I have so much to update you on, but basically I'm a brunette now. bit of a update on getting the house together put the coffee table together last night and I have my beautiful peonies here with my coffee table books this one is a gift from my sister before I moved to New York and it's basically all the best cafes restaurants in every borough in New York City and I love that actually quite useful and here I have my Gabrielle Chanel coffee table book and that was a gift from my boyfriend so cute so that's kind of come together then we also mounted the tv yesterday which is quite 
it is quite a mission to do that but what's cool about it is we got the rotation one so you can pull it out and you can also rotate it out to the right or the left to the right we have the terrace so apparently my boyfriend's going to be watching the yankees play this summer from the terrace so we'll see about that but we uh, finally got that mounted so love that so as you can see the apartment is coming together and I'm really happy about that. I am happy with our progress. We've made a huge progress, especially this weekend, just organizing our clothes, building the furniture, mounting the TV. Like you saw, I was working out around the TV, which is it's quite hazardous, but you know, nothing happened. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, a bit of a move in with me, organize my life and organize my apartment, really. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and join my little community, and I shall see you in my next video. Ciao!